So Natilic are a global technology services provider. We're headquartered in the UK with presence in Americas and Asia. We've been a partner with Cisco for over a decade and we believe it's our job to sit between Cisco and our clients' organisations delivering the outcomes that, they really, that really matter to them. One of our biggest challenges was to augment our traditional business model, to differentiate ourselves, to add that extra value, be it through events, through training, through skills, and through elevating our in-house expertise to be able to give our clients more um, of a value add from what we can offer. DevNet presents us with two opportunities. One is a facilitation of a journey that we're all going on in helping people's development and, and feeling comfortable in this new world of, of programmability of networks. But also it plays directly to the revenue opportunities that we have today and reinforces the need to invest in Cisco infrastructure and Cisco software to get to that next stage. DevNet has a really structured approach to bringing the tools and skills to the industry and that is what we found appealing, you know, that is what we do day in, day out. We're striving to be that you know, pioneer partner for Cisco and utilising the tools like uh, Sandbox, Code Exchange and the, and the other uh, great tools which DevNet offers. One thing we have found is that by incorporating programmability and working with DevNet, we've been able to see an immediate impact to our clients we can help them on this journey because we've been there you know exactly where our clients are now we're sharing the ideas externally we're opening our own APIs to our clients so they can leverage them to have a community as such as DevNet that embraces change and, in, and brings people along on that journey really helps people in Natilic people in our clients businesses feel comfortable with that transition and be supported in that transition so I think it's it's fundamental in that that journey that we're all going on and obviously none of this would have been possible or could have been possible without DevNet.